Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a homeschool Q&A. My friend Julie from A Beautiful Horizon tagged me um, for this homeschool Q&A. So I usually don't film when my kids are up, but today they are awake. So I had this little guy who's joining me today. This is my two and a half year old son. And so he's just gonna be kind of hanging out with mama while I answer these questions. So let me go ahead and pull up the questions in the video and I'll try to run through them as quickly as I can. Question number one, is that mama? How many years have you been homeschooling? So I actually have a degree in early childhood education. Yes. Is that you? Are you on there? You're so handsome. Um, I have a degree in early childhood education, so I was really excited to homeschool my kids. And so I actually started homeschooling my oldest daughter when she was three. We started doing um, our first like preschool homeschool curriculum when she was three years old. So this year she'll be turning 10 and this will be our eighth official year of homeschool that we're starting in August. So yeah, I can't believe that it's been eight years, it's crazy. All right, number two is how many children do you homeschool? So I would consider our family kind of a one room schoolhouse um, when there is learning happening everybody's there so even this little guy here he still joins us when we do our read alouds if we're playing a game he is still involved he can color whenever we're doing coloring sheets he's still able to interact with us and things like that but this school year i will have three of the older kids who are officially in school they will be in kindergarten third grade and fifth grade question number three says what grades do you currently teach and what grades have you taught um, so again, I have taught all the way from preschool up through fourth grade, and then this coming year I will have a fifth grader, so I've taught all the way through that, um, and that's what I've taught so far. Okay, number four is what is one of your favorite homeschool curriculums? Um, man, that's like asking what my favorite food is. Um, I really like several of our curriculums. You gonna hold my phone for me? Okay. Um, one of my favorite curriculums that we've used for many years now is Apologia for Science. I really love their um, elementary science curriculum. I love that it has a Christian worldview and I love all the pictures. It's always really interesting. Um, so I really like Apologia. Um, some other homeschool curriculums that we really enjoy and keep coming back to are all about reading and um, Matthew C. Those three are probably the top three that I keep coming back to year after year. So those are some of our favorites. Number five, what is your least favorite homeschool curriculum? Um, man, I don't wanna say bad things about any curriculum. I think that um, mm. each curriculum works better for certain families and for certain students. Um, I will say there was a mm. math curriculum that we tried when my oldest daughter was in kindergarten. I think it was Singapore math um, and we ended up switching midway through the year to Matthew C. We just didn't connect very well with Singapore math and that's fine. You know, some things are gonna work for you, for your family, for your child, and other things aren't. So for us, that wasn't a good fit. Um, Trying to think if there's anything else that didn't work for us. Um, yeah, I, don't, I wouldn't really say I have a least favorite curriculum. I think that I tend to gravitate toward things that are more hands-on um, and things that um, are multi-sensory and so those are kind of the things that we're really drawn to um, so anything that's really dry or um, not engaging <laughs> what is it is that daddy you see picture daddy's picture um, anything that's really dry or um, just not engaging I really don't care for so let's go to the next question you ready question number six is how do your children socialize so I think this is a question that a lot of homeschoolers get. Um, I think there's a stigma that homeschoolers um, are just homebodies and they don't have opportunities to socialize with other kids. Um, and I would say that's really up to every individual family. Your kids can be as social or as non-social as you want them to be. Uh, I think that this year is gonna be a little bit unique in the fact that we are going through something um, globally that we've never gone through before and so there's not going to be quite as many opportunities for the kids to get out and socialize with large groups of other mm. children but ordinarily we like to have play dates we like to do field trips 
the kids have opportunities to talk with kids at church. And so those are some ways that we try to socialize outside of our family group. Um, of course, there's six of us in our family, and so our kids have plenty of opportunities to socialize with each other. And so that's another um, blessing of having a larger family is that the kids have each other as friends and to do things with on a daily basis. Question number seven is how many hours a day do you homeschool? Um, for our family, I would say that we homeschool um, anywhere from about two to two and a half hours. And that's, um, we usually start in the morning, maybe around nine, and then we usually wrap up our school day, um, you know, around 11.30ish, and then I have time to make lunch. And so that is everything that I would consider our book learning. Then we also like to do reading um, during different times of the day at the uh, lunch table, as well as at nighttime, we do some reading from chapter books. Um, and then we also do um, Bible time as a family every night at the dinner table. So there are other times of the day where learning is still happening, but I would say as far as book work goes, that tends to happen between about 9 and 11.30. So I would say if that is what you consider school time, then I would say roughly two and a half hours. Now, of course, as your kids get older, um, the workload is going to get a little bit more in depth and heavy. And so I would say the older your child gets, you know, you can you can expect to spend a little bit more time on book work or schoolwork each day, depending um, what kind of approach to learning that you do. But honestly, homeschool doesn't have to look like a traditional school day. Um, there's really no reason for your kids to be learning at home for eight hours a day. Um, that's just not gonna be fun and enjoyable for anyone, you included. So, um, Definitely keep that in mind if you are new to homeschooling. It does not take that long to accomplish um, a day's worth of schoolwork. Question number eight is, do you homeschool year round? And yes, we do homeschool year round. We start our school year at the beginning of August, and then we usually wrap up um, that school year kind of in July, mid-July-ish, and then we have between you know one to two weeks off of school until we start with a brand new school year. So that gives me enough time to make sure I have everything in place and that we have all our curriculum lined up. I really like being able to homeschool year round because it gives us more of a relaxed pace and relaxed schedule. Um, you know, we don't have to um, feel bad if we need to take a day off every now and then. You know, if we need to take a sick day or if my husband has a day off of work for some reason, it's really nice to have that flexibility that homeschooling year round brings. And so for our family, homeschool kind of just becomes this rhythm of life that we are just accustomed to. And it really gives us things to do each day and kind of keeps us in um, a predictable pattern each day. And so I really enjoy homeschooling year round and um, it works well for our family. Question number nine is what is a great open and go curriculum for a new homeschooler? In my opinion, if you are first starting out homeschooling, it's really nice to go with a boxed curriculum. Um, it's Everything's gonna be pre-planned. It's gonna be very easy to open and go and um, less intimidating for you as a new homeschooler. Now I will say that some of the box curriculums can have a pretty hefty price tag, um, especially if you're gonna be um, homeschooling multiple kids at different levels. Some of the box curriculums that I know people really enjoy that are very open and go um, are things like Sunlight, Abeka, um, and also we did Heart of Dakota when my daughter was first starting out homeschooling and I found it was very, um, very nice as a new homeschooler to have everything just laid out on a two-page spread, very easy to use. Um, it was literature-based, which I really enjoyed as well. So those are three curriculums that are really highly recommended and that I would definitely suggest you checking out if you're a new homeschooler and you're looking for something that is more um, Christian-based. And then the final question, number 10, is what is your favorite part of homeschooling? Um, I feel like Julie, when she answered this question, there are so many things that I could say that I love about homeschooling. Um, obviously, it's not sunshine and rainbows and butterflies every day. There are some days and moments that are very challenging and frustrating, but in the end, I wouldn't trade the time that I get with my kids for anything. And being able to see 
those aha moments when they understand something and they're excited about it. Um, seeing them understand a math concept or learning to read a certain word. Um, those type of moments are so rewarding as a homeschool mom. Um, and I just am so thankful that I get to spend that time with them. I love being able to um, you know, sit on the couch and read together and take our time. I love being able to play games together and listen to their creative ideas and um, really just get to know them and they're all their unique personalities. And so I think for me, my favorite thing about homeschooling is just having that quality time together that we wouldn't have otherwise. And so for me, that has been the biggest blessing and the thing that I know I won't regret when they get older. So that is gonna be it for this Q&A. If you wanna do this Q&A as well, I will leave the questions in the description box. If you decide to do this video, leave me a comment below and I will definitely go check out your Q&A video as well. If you'd like to see more of my homeschooling videos, I will link a playlist in the description box as well and you can check out all my other homeschool videos. I hope you guys have a great school year. Thanks as always for watching and have a great day. Bye.